Taking what officials say is a real crisis. Bailey Wojcik spoke with administrators there. She joins us live with what they're doing to resolve their problem. Bailey. Sean, Humane Society of Cambria County leaders say they've been running at or over capacity for almost a year. They say they're not accepting pets surrendered by owners or walk-in visitors starting today. The Humane Society of Cambria County has taken in over 1,000 animals in the past year alone, according to officials. They say 78 animals were recently accepted over just a two-day period in May. Every room in this building is full to the brim with animals that we can safely occupy. Floor space is covered. Um, I mean, we have animals, like I said, in every single room. My office has multiple animals. Our garage is now full of animals. I mean, they're, we're, they're everywhere they could safely be contained. This led to a Monday Facebook post by officials explaining that the shelter can no longer accept animals surrendered by their owners for the time being. They're also turning away visitors that don't have an approved application. It just it gives us a little bit more time to clean, sanitize, um, take care of the animals. Um, at this point, we can't have people going back and walking in the rooms when um, it's just taken us an overwhelming amount of time to clean and take care of the animals. While officials say they're looking to reopen the shelter to surrendered pets and walk-in visits eventually, they say they have to keep things closed off for now. Having the staff to be able to go out to these houses and get the animals safely to be able to transport them back here and on top of that, find the staffing and volunteer power to take care of that many animals has been very overwhelming, but I mean, we take it step by step, day by day. In the meantime, officials say you can submit an application for a pet online before visiting, support fundraisers, volunteer, or donate supplies to support the shelter. Stepping up to help us out is going to be tremendous. Right now, we only have 14 paid staff members, so taking care of 140 animals a day on top of running the business is very overwhelming, so we really, really need the public to step up and help us. You can learn more about the adoptable animals on our website, wjctv.com. Reporting live, Bailey Wojcik, 6 News.